Buying and maintaining a home is a lot of work, and we don't expect you to have all the answers. That's because there's no easy manual for how to take care of your home, especially if you're a first time homeowner. In today's Ask Angie segment, we have answers to some of the questions that many homeowners don't want to ask. Mallory Meistick, a home care expert at Angie, is here to answer some of the important questions many people are too embarrassed to ask. One question we get all the time is, how do I know when to hire a pro and when to DIY? As a person who likes to take on my own projects, try new things and DIY, I completely understand the appeal. And Angie, or when people ask me if it's okay to take on a DIY project, I tell them to ask themselves about the three T's, time, tools, and talent. If you have all three, you can definitely get the job done right. If you're lacking any of those three things, like time or a particular tool needed for that job, it's time to call in a pro. Think about your next home project on your list. Is it complex? Is it dangerous? Is there a risk for property damage? If you answered yes to any of these questions, it's probably a good idea to bring in a pro to do the job right from the beginning. If your project is simple, you have relevant experience, and you're okay with the chance it won't be perfect, then give it a try. Making an expensive mistake can take the fun out of DIY. So do your research and know the risk before deciding to take it on yourself. When looking for service professionals in your area, you'll probably come across the terms insured, bonded, and licensed. What do these terms mean and which ones would you look for in a pro? Ideally, you're going to look for all three. Licenses are often held at a state or a county level. Be sure to check there. Booking an insured contractor is a great way to protect yourself financially. An insured contractor holds liability policy, which can protect homeowners from being held responsible for property damage made by the contractor. Always check with the contractor to make sure their policy covers the scope of your project and ask for these three things before signing a contract and making your final hiring decision. Bonded contractors have an agreement with the bonding company that protects homeowners if their contractor fails to complete a job or can't meet financial obligations. Some trades also require contractors to get licensed. To qualify for a license, contractors usually have to pass tests and submit proof of insurance and bonding. Make sure to do your own research to make sure your contractor is licensed if desired. If you're looking at buying a home this next year, you might be wondering if it makes sense to take on the project of a fixer-upper. A fixer-upper can be a great choice if it's in the perfect location or if it's the only option within your budget. However, it is important to understand what projects you'll need to do in the first year and what they might cost before committing. Work closely with your home inspector to really understand the scope of projects. And even before you purchase, make sure you have the time and money to commit to fixing it up. Sometimes fixing up fixer uppers is a long multi year process. Take a walk around your fixer upper. Make a list of any changes or repairs you want to make. For each repair, write down if it's structural or cosmetic and if you intend to DIY or hire a professional. This list will help you get organized and get a better understanding of the professionals you need to hire and the scope of the overall project. One more really common question is, how do I know if there's mold in my walls, especially if you live in a warm, humid, or damp environment? The key to detecting mold is to know what mold looks like and smells like. It usually has a musty smell and causes irregular spots. Mold loves to live in damp places, so make sure to check basements, bathrooms, behind walls, closets. If you suspect there's mold in your home but still aren't sure where it's coming from, try ordering a mold test or hiring a professional to find and get rid of it quickly. Well, do you have questions about your home projects? Well, tweet them using hashtag AskingAngie, and you may get some tips in an upcoming segment.